Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome content about Linux and open source software. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for anyone considering a switch to Linux or even seasoned users looking for a rock-solid operating system, the top five most stable Linux distros of 2024. So, um, Linux is one of the most famous and free open source platforms out there. It has gained a lot of attention recently and is widely used because of its security, scalability, and flexibility. Now, the term distribution or distro refers to versions of Linux that compile and combine open source codes into a single operating system. This means you can easily boot up, install, and get going with a Linux system tailored to your needs. They even offer different options for desktop environments, browsers, and other software. Linux has tons of distributions, and it can be a bit overwhelming because they cater to various needs like education, gaming, and software development. But that's also the beauty of Linux. It's all about choice. So today, we're going to focus on stability. Let's talk about the top five most stable Linux distributions that you can count on in 2024. All right, leading the pack, we have Debian Linux. Debian stands out as the pinnacle of stability among Linux distributions. It's known for its user-friendliness, lightweight nature, and broad compatibility with various environments. The Debian development team takes their time with extended working cycles to resolve most bugs before rolling out a new release. The most recent stable version, Debian 12 Bookworm, is available for free download on their official site. One of the main features of Debian is its effective bug repair processes, ensuring a smooth user experience. It requires minimal maintenance because the software updates itself. Additionally, Debian's official archive supports modern packages, which means you get up-to-date software without compromising stability. The Package Manager, apt, is particularly noteworthy because it handles dependencies and orphaned packages efficiently, which simplifies system management for users. Next up, we have Linux Mint. There's always tough competition for the top spot, and Linux Mint is not far behind. It's one of the most widely used distributions and is based on Debian and Ubuntu. Mint is known for being a free, community-centric, open-source distro with a massive number of packages. The latest version is Virginia, released in January 2024. It's super user-friendly and comes with basic software like LibreOffice, Thunderbird, and VLC Media Player. Linux Mint is perfect for beginners because it's easy to install and use, and it supports various desktop environments like Cinnamon, Genome, and KDE. Its comprehensive support for interactive multimedia means you can watch videos, listen to music, and do much more right out of the box. The Package Manager allows you to easily download additional software, making Linux Mint an excellent choice for new users. Moving on, we have Ubuntu. Ubuntu is often considered the go-to Linux distribution for Debian beginners. It's pre-installed on many laptops these days, and it has its own repositories frequently synced with Debian's. Ubuntu offers a well-known open-source desktop that includes a variety of applications like an office suite, email, and media apps. Ubuntu is celebrated for its user-friendly graphical interface, which can be customized to suit your needs. This makes it ideal for both beginners and experienced users. Additionally, Ubuntu boasts a secure platform, ensuring that your data and privacy are protected. It supports multiple desktop environments like Unity, XFC, and Mate, giving you the flexibility to choose the look and feel that best suits you. Ubuntu is highly customizable, making it a favorite among super users who like to tweak their systems. Now let's talk about Slackware. Slackware Linux is one of the oldest continuously developed distributions, having been created by Patrick Volkerding in 1993. It's designed for advanced users who are looking for a secure, stable, and reliable distribution. Slackware has a proven record of reliability and stability, making it a popular choice among advanced users. It's also known for its customizability and comes with a large number of pre-installed packages. Plus, it can run on a wide range of hardware, from low-end PCs to supercomputers. One of the key features of Slackware is its continuous development, which ensures that the system remains up-to-date and secure. It is also very flexible and stable, allowing users to easily install it on older hardware. This makes Slackware a solid choice for users who want a dependable and customizable Linux experience. Last but not least, we have OpenSUSE. OpenSUSE is developed by various companies and SUSE Linux. Its purpose is to make open source tools easily accessible by giving developers a user-friendly environment. OpenSUSE combines and collaborates to deliver the most stable distros by focusing on open source tools. OpenSUSE is known for its user-friendly interface, 
which makes it easy for users to navigate and manage their systems. It also has excellent support for graphic cards, ensuring that your visual experience is top-notch. Additionally, OpenSUSE supports a variety of desktop environments like Genome, KDE, Cinnamon, LXDE, XFCE, and OpenBox. This allows you to choose the desktop environment that best fits your workflow and preferences. So, um, as you can see, each Linux distribution has its own unique features and is optimized to perform specific tasks. These are the top five most stable Linux distributions for 2024. Stability can be relative depending on your hardware and software needs, but when looking for a new stable OS, you should go for one with the LTS, long-term support, or stable version tag. I hope this guide helps you find the perfect Linux distribution for your needs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Linux content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.